move to make by putting it on the agenda for some consideration. Have you talked, before you put up a meeting, did you, who has to reconsider this one? Who put it on the agenda? I uh, received a call from uh, the county executive's office asking to add it to the agenda. It was within the allowed time frame, so I did allow it to be put onto the agenda uh, for okay. this meeting. Did you check if it was legal to do it? I did speak with the clerk of courts, or not clerk of courts, I'm sorry, Reggie. I spoke with Reggie and asked about the time frame, if it was allowable. She indicated that it was, it just needed to be noticed properly in order to go on the agenda. Okay, I'm not speaking. talking about whether it was uh, within the time frame. If it's illegal, uh, I'm not really sure. Again, I'm not saying that it's illegal or whatever, but usually it's my understanding that for reconsideration, you would have to be a member of the committee or a supervisor not coming from uh, the county executive office. They don't make that decision. I spoke to the secretary of this committee. Uh, that one, the change was made at five o'clock on Friday night which that's a little bit, uh, I don't know what word I can use on that. Sure. Why wait till five o'clock on Friday night on a weekend, on a long weekend with a holiday when nobody could check on anything. And it was done with an amendment because people that looked at the agenda, they didn't even see it probably until today that this was on. So why was it done? And again, uh, by speaking with the secretary, of this committee, the call was made from uh, the county executive office offer to put it on the agenda. You can, you can correct me if I'm wrong. You did not okay that. So why we don't work for the county executive? We don't report to the county executive. And if we wanna take orders from the county executive, then I guess we should apply for a job and be under the direction of the county executive. I believe this should be tabled, if not for anything else, just to make sure that we check with Corporation Council whether it's a legal motion to do it or not. So again, I'm not in the committee, of course, I cannot make uh, any motion, I cannot vote on that or whatever, but my suggestion, I would say, table this resolution, ask, you were not sure whether it was legal or not, because you called, I don't know why, if uh, directed by someone or whatever, you checked with Corporation Council tonight, and I don't know what the answer is. I did not check with anybody. And I think, I see this as being, if anything, at best, at best, it's an orchestrated move to go around the rules, to deceive people, and I think it's pretty, pretty, it's a very sad day for this town to go to tomorrow. So please do the right thing. Table this resolution till next month. It's not time sensitive. If they want to bring it back, just bring it back. But for right now, let's make sure that everything is done on a legal basis. We give, uh, there is another resolution that came in uh, late on uh, Friday, which was not attached to that. I did okay that to put it on the agenda subject to receiving that the same uh, before the weekend so Corporation Council could look at the legality of that. And as of right now, still, they did not tell me whether it was legal or not. So it's on the agenda for tonight. But unless I hear from Corporation Council that it's legal, it's not gonna go on. It's not gonna be referred to me. So please, do the right thing. Devil this resolution until the next meeting because it's not going to hurt anything it's not time sensitive that can be done and that will be the right thing to do mr chairman i can speak to um, um hold on one second i do have a comment um to a couple of the points that were made uh like i like i said when i started the meeting this evening um this was brought in at the 11th hour right before close on friday i did check with Reggie, and as far as the um, legally noticing the changes to the agenda, I did approve adding this item onto the, the consideration um, to the, reconsider the motion. I did approve adding this onto the agenda for Monday. I was not happy with the timing. It was last minute for several people. 
Um, in the future, like I said, we need to have any items for our agenda by Thursday. I did speak with Corporation Council uh, regarding this item specifically. Basically, um, it would need a motion and a second, which we have the vote uh, to reconsider. Um, we would first have to vote on whether or not we want to reconsider this resolution. If it passes, we would start over and it would be represented to us this evening. If it fails, um, it fails and nothing else happens for this resolution. So uh, we do have a motion and a second. Um, if there is any further discussion, Supervisor Nadusky. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you for conferring with Corporation Council. Um, did Corporation Council inform you what the Wisconsin State Public Meeting Notice Law is for agendas? Uh, do you know? Yes, that was, yes. Would you be willing to tell the committee what that is? If you would like to share. It's, 20, Go ahead. it's 24 hours. It's not Friday night. And that's what I, I did. That was the information okay. I received from Reggie. So it's not the last hour. The last hour would have been five hours before i will make a point on our agendas it is need, does need to be submitted by thursday is unless that a there's policy? It's, it says on our agendas so that is our policy is it, is if it you ordinance? want to be on the agenda it has to be is submitted. it an ordinance or a state law you asked if it was our policy that is how our county board operates so Continue. do committee chairs now get to make state law and county policy Or are we following the law? I mean, I think it's legal. It's been confirmed that it's legal. It's a question that it's legal with a group of your colleagues and insult us like that is disturbing. So I have moved to reconsider the appointment of uh, Supervisor Rodriguez to the Board of Health or to the uh, Human Services Board according to board this of resolution. Health. Board of Health. Board of Information. It's the um, Board of Health, not Human Services Board. Oh, it's the Board of Health? Board of Health. <laughs> There's a lot of different discussion how those could two, two could be joined today if you wanted them to, which I think we might consider that too today. So the Board of Health. The health and well-being of all Kenosha County citizens has been and always should be a top priority for county government. I have supported efforts by both the previous and current administrations and county boards to protect the health of our residents and visitors alike. I look forward to the opportunity to serve alongside many other professionals in ensuring public health standards, regulations, and laws are properly enforced and overseen. So that does show that the candidate has an interest. Um, I have a question for the chair. Did you confer with the county executive if there were any other applications to sit on the Board of Health by County Board Supervisor? We were presented with the application. I did not ask who the pool was. Are you aware if there are um, other vacancies that have to be filled? I did not ask. So, are you speaking to the motion to reconsider we are, or we are, the application itself? We are itself? required by statute to have a human services board and a board of health, and they have membership requirements. The longer these, uh, and some of those membership requirements include county board supervisors. The longer these seats stay vacant, the longer we are out of compliance. So I disagree that it's not a time sensitive issue. Um, uh, for that reason, I am asking for your vote to support the reconsideration of the appointment of Supervisor uh, Rodriguez to the board of health. Is there any further discussion on the motion to reconsider? Supervisor Gatz. Yeah, I mean, I, I find it interesting that Supervisor Nedwiski would ask if what are the ch committee chairs allowed to do? And, you know, um, I, it almost looks like the committee chair of this committee was working with the executive committee and the executive branch of government and at us. I mean, we have a leader of a branch of government sitting here. It's called the county board chair. We're the legislative branch of government. As the executive's office doesn't put items on our agenda. You, you could tell me how this went and all the circumstances, how it was circled around, but you should have checked with the chair of our branch of government before we pulled this. Um, that, that's really disappointing from the chair of the committee. Um, <clears throat> I will not be supporting this because I don't think, um, I haven't heard from the corporation council the chairman of our county board is telling us that he's not comfortable with it. Um, so I think that one of the committee members here, I can't do it after I speak, but should move to defer this for till the next meeting. Um, you don't even have to table it. We don't, we don't have to pull it off the table. We will hear it at the next meeting. 
but I think that there's enough questions out there that we should do that and do our due diligence. So um, that's my opinion. Supervisor Metro? Mr. Chair, I have a number of questions, but I won't get through all of them. I know they all um, But I did pull up Robert's rules. If a motion is defeated, a member can reintroduce it as new business at the next meeting. This was put on the agenda by somebody who is not a member. What are our ordinances regarding that? Are the ordinances of the county that anyone can place anything on an agenda or bring it to the chair to approve on an agenda? Or must it come, as Robert says, be introduced by a member who voted on, not just any member, but a member who voted on, Ms. Ned Vesky, you did not vote on it, you cannot bring this motion, according to Robert's rules. Point so, of information, she can. I read Robert's rules four times when I heard this reach around, and she can on a committee level. You can't do it at the board level, but she can do it at the committee level even by somebody who is absent. So they can do that. But you're right to question who, who actually brought it. You know, whether the executive Point of order, office. are we going to vote or not? This is, the, the motion is on the reappointment. It's not on the rules and it's not on the legality. The well, we can have any discussion we want. Hold it, please. Hold on. Hold it. The discussion okay. is around whether or not we are going to reconsider the resolution for Mr. Rodriguez. The point was given, Mr. Uh, Supervisor Bashaw. Thank you for the sure. point. Uh, it's a fine parsing of it. But well, it disappoints me too, but yeah. I will, but I will give a point of information. I did speak with Corporation Council about this specifically. There is a caveat with our county ordinance or policy in regards to Robert's rules. In order for something to be on the agenda, it has to be noticed. So a supervisor would not be able to bring up uh, this without it being publicly noticed. That's why it was uh, put on the agenda as a potential motion to reconsider. That saying that there is a chance that this could happen, the supervisor would have had to bring it forward, but that is because where Robert's rules and our public notice uh, policy with where we have the open meetings, where we have to have it noticed to the public, that is why it was put on there in that regard. So if you, if you, you can get the point of information, Mr. Chair. Uh, so Supervisor Bashaw stated the county executive's office put this on the agenda, and we yourself clarified already that that's not the case. The county executive's office reached out to you and asked if you'd be willing to place this on the agenda, and with your approval, it was placed on the agenda, just like every other committee chair's prerogative. And Chairman Bashaw should know that as a chairman. The county executive, or in his case, the sheriff, cannot place something on his agenda without his okay. In this instance, the county executive's office reached out to you, and you okayed it. What I said. I do not believe that is. What I said at, at this meeting, this is a lot of procedural discussion. I was reached out from the county executive's office. They asked uh, if I would be willing to put this on the agenda. I said I would. Uh, as far as the process for getting it on the agenda, the county exec emailed uh, Kathy. I was carbon copied on there. Uh, to put it on, and I did speak with Reggie to put it on the agenda. So that is why it's on the agenda. I was, I did. I did. I just, it, I it was communicated, that, the but the count it right. originated from the county executive's office. It did not originate from a supervisor on this committee. And that's exactly what it said before. And I, I will hold, if we can hold, uh, would you have anything else to add to Supervisor That is specific to my inquiry. The pathway by which it happened, does it fall within the county guidelines? I don't see the county attorney here. We don't have representation here, which surprises me being that this is a hot button issue that was coming before it tonight because questions were asked. Because you did have a conversation, I'm sure the chair had conversations, and I'm sure the executive office had conversations. So I'm surprised he's not here or someone from his office representative this evening. I think it's a valid question that should be asked, answered, and considered before moving forward. I don't agree that this is time sensitive. As this already failed once before committee, if it was time sensitive, I would have thought folks would have been here to vote on it. However, they weren't. So it failed three to three. It was gone at that point. Now it's coming back as a secondary motion. So I'm surprised by the process. I'm surprised by the efforts to make sure that the votes are counted and tallied beforehand to make sure everybody's here. But that's beside the point. And thank you for recording me. I appreciate that. Is that for Kevin? No, it's not. Uh, Supervisor Zanowski? No further discussion. Supervisor Gatz. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I think that he laid out, the Supervisor Bashaw laid out the perfect point for this. Number one, I, again, I read Robert's rules like five times in a row, so I know that this can be done, but it has to be requested by either one of the people who succeeded on the vote or somebody who wasn't there. It can't just be, you know, the county executive's office decided they wanted this back on and then okay to you, with you. You were on the negative side of this. You were on the losing side. You can't put this back on. I mean, as a chair, you could, but you should have something to something through Robert's Rules of Order that allow you to do it, and that wasn't done. So I don't know that this is legal. I mean, that that is a very good point, um, Supervisor Bashaw. I don't know that this is legal because it didn't come from Supervisor Ned Whiskey. It didn't come from one of the people who were the the, prevailing vote. So I can make a, not that I'm an attorney, but I can make a case right now that that's a problem. And we should defer this for, for a month in order to get that answered and make sure that we're doing this procedurally correct. Thank you. Chair Well, pretty much about the same thing. Uh, number one is uh, when uh, Supervisor McWeski called up Supervisor Basho that is doing this, is stating this, stating that. Well, you were the one stating what the state laws, what they do at the state level. I don't care what the, what the state laws. You want to say that a little louder for the record? Yeah, I do say it loud. Would you like to send whatever you send as uh, uh, text messages? Would you be willing to release Sooner your point of order? Of order. Well, you ask me about what you do. Yes, don't distort what I say all the time or whatever. Mr. Chairman. Like Chair, you okay. keep this on the motion. Okay, sorry. But what I'm saying, and again, I said that this started with, came from the county executive office that started this. I don't think it's legal. Now, they called and sent it to the secretary of this committee. She put it on. You did talk to Reggie, whatever. You asked for the timing. Now, this year was done back in, uh, what are we now? This is September, right? Yeah. Back in August, the beginning of August. They had a full month and to wait till five o'clock on a Friday night and do that. Don't tell me that that's not a, a, a matter of uh, a list of concern or whatever. And nobody could ask for Croatian Council, nobody could check the legality of that. And it's not gonna hurt anything to wait another month just to make sure that it's legal. If it's legal, fine, go ahead and take a vote. Whatever it is, I'll abide by that. I have no problems, but I wanna make sure that it's legal, and at this point, I don't know whether it's legal or not. We don't know what's going on. Before I go to Supervisor Nagoski, I will add, at the end of the day, it is up to the committee whether or not they wish to reconsider the appointment of Supervisor Rodriguez to this committee. If at the end of the day, a majority of the committee wishes to reconsider the appointments of Supervisor Rodriguez, that will happen one way or another. If the majority of the committee agrees, that is the conversation I had with Corporation Council. So at the end of the day, whether or not, you know, I, I did not agree with the timing either. This was all last minute. I, I'm very frustrated by this whole process. But at the end of the day, the majority of the committee decides whether or not we will move forward with the appointment of Supervisor Rodriguez at the end of the day. So, Supervisor Nabuski. I call it a question. Is there a second? No okay. Uh, roll call. Supervisor Gerson? Aye. Supervisor Yas? No. Supervisor Kabicki? No. Wow. Supervisor Getz? Wait, that's not a vote, but wow. No. Supervisor Stocker? Yes. No. Oh, um, calling the question. Imputed. Calling the question fails. Calling the question failed. Yeah. Correct. Oh, I had Supervisor Gearson uh, was next. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I read in our minutes that it was at the very last human services meeting that we considered this. So this would then be the next succeeding meeting. So through the chair to the Committee Secretary, I just want to confirm that there wasn't a meeting between our very last meeting, 
where the uh, this motion failed the last time and this this is the very did the motion fail in July or August? August twenty. This is the very next. We did not have a meeting yes, in July. This, this is the oh, very. Yeah, this is the very next meeting. This is the very next succeeding meet, succeeding meeting since it failed last time. Correct. If it failed in August, yes. Right. Uh, so confirming that ideal. Supervisor Decker. Um, I would like to ask um, Supervisor Ned Weski. Supervisor Ned Weski, did you wish to ha reconsider this? motion before it got on the agenda yes i did and did you confer with the county executive on that yes i did and did you did she ask or did you ask her if she could uh follow up and see if it could be placed on the agenda for you i was told by staff of the county executive office that they conferred with corporation council and that it could be placed on the agenda okay so so you recommended a motion to reconsider yes i did okay thank you Point of information, she did not reach out to the chair of the committee to have it put on the agenda. Supervisor Guest. Somebody beat me. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, as super, as the chairman said, at the end of the day, the, the, the amount of votes wins. I agree with that. And I'm not questioning that. And we're all going to have to abide by the end of the day vote. But what we do not have to be okay with is the process of how this happened. And I mean, I can appreciate Supervisor Decker trying to plug Supervisor Ned Whiskey in, um, you know, uh, at 710 after, you know, she didn't ask this to be reconsidered. And if she asked it to be reconsidered, she should go to the proper chain of, of command, which is our county board chair, not the executive. That's what I have a problem with, the process of how this went. And that's why I question the legality, the ethics, the however and that's why i think we should take the time to sort this out if we come back in a month and and it's stated that hey everything was about board and fine let's take the vote that's fine but i mean there are legitimate questions out here uh, as per robert's rules which i read very carefully i'm not sure that this meets that thank you please, uh, you can is there a question Paul, please um, governance. i have one is what um what legal aspect are, are we considering here for this motion? Like, what what potential law? What, sure. What so last month, Supervisor yeah. Rodriguez had there was a resolution from the county executive to appoint Supervisor Rodriguez to the Board of Health. Last month, when we had our meeting, um, there was a tie, and on a tie, the vote fails. Sure. So, um, per Robert's rules, you can have a motion to reconsider to be put back on the agenda. So we are right currently. Um, there's discussion around whether or not we want to reconsider his appointment to the Board of Health. If that vote passes, then we will vote again on whether or not Supervisor Rodriguez will serve on the Board of Health. And then it, we go back to where we started at last meeting. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Um, Supervisor Gens? Or was it Rod Rodriguez? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I just want to clarify again, uh, the motion to reconsider has to happen tonight. It has to happen at the subsequent meeting. It doesn't happen tonight. You can't table it. Don't listen to that. He knows the truth. Supervisor Gens is a well-seasoned supervisor. He knows it has to be tonight. Additionally, we've spoken with Corporation Counsel Joe Cardone, and he has said that while he cannot be in the room with us currently, he is willing to take a phone call from the committee. The chief of staff can make that phone call up on her cell phone and put to bed these, what I'm going to call, false notions of not knowing if this is legal or not. The people that are replicating that lie know it's a lie. They know that this is legal. The county executive, like anybody, any one of us can request that the committee chair or the county board chair place something on the agenda, and that's what happened today. You approved it. But this notion that we need to go to the county board chair for permission is also false. We do not report to the county board chair. Is that all? That's all. Thank you. If we're, if we're that concerned, let me add about the legality. I, let's call that, Joe. See where you house. Okay, so just for clarification, the issue here is that Supervisor Ned Whiskey did not make the request. Correct. That's the issue. It didn't come from her directly. It came from the yeah. county executive's office. So, and according to Robert's rules, in order for something to be reconsidered, it has to be brought back by the prevailing side to sign that law. Yes, that is correct. Okay, that's all I wanted to. The committee, that's not correct. 
Mr. Vice President, I stated that earlier tonight. I will state in this discussion, I did confirm with Supervisor or with the Corporation Council um, that this would have to be at the next meeting. That's why it was added to this agenda, which is why I said earlier, at the end of the day, the committee decides whether or not to reconsider the resolution. Whether it have, it, and if I did not put it on the agenda for this evening and a majority of the committee wished it to be considered, then it would have to go on the next, the following meeting anyway. So it's, it was, I more or less did not, it's, it's not up to me if the majority of the committee would like it considered. And that was what I was told from Corporation Council. And that is why it is on the agenda before us. It's here, 